we thank you everyone for attending the today's event at 12th cnc expo 2024 we thank ramu garu and entire cnc group for giving us the opportunity to bring our company claron fiber optics once again before you last year we spoke about the evolution of optical fibers various types of optical fibers and its usages and this year we thought to bring about and discuss about the various types of optical fiber cables in the industry and where they have to be used and what are the advantages disadvantages regarding the same first of all uh, we like to give a brief about our company claron fiber optics we have started this company in 2017 with a vision to contributing towards digital India, having exclusive focus on bringing fiber to the home in manufacturing of optical fibers and optical fiber cables. Claron strive for the development and contribution of the digital economy. With strong technical focus, Claron offers products suitable to the application and long-term durability for all LCOs, MSOs and broadband users and we are having a very good product mix of Indian and foreign customers. We are the first exclusive manufacturer of FTTH drop cables in India. When everyone were manufacturing all kinds of optical fiber cables, our company was started with a vision to start FTTH and penetrate every corner of India. After that we have diversified to all other range of optical fiber cables. We are the largest company in terms of manufacturing capacity in South India. We have a manufacturing capacity of more than 10,000 kilometers every month. We manufacture cables ranging from one fiber to four fibers for FTTH applications and optical fiber cables from 2F to 24F for our internet, broadband and CATV. We also manufacture cables towards telecom applications which is ranging from 24 fiber to 144 fiber. We manufacture cables with G657A, G657A2, G657B3 and G652D fibers. We also manufacture cables with OM1 and OM2 fibers also. We also manufacture CAT5E and CAT6 cables in our Hyderabad factory. Now we talk about various types of optical fiber cables. The first product is the duct cables which was started uh, long ago when the telecom was started. All these cables are used for laying in the ducts. But the main issue when we lay cables in the ducts is the normal unarmored cables is we have a lots of rodents in the ducts. So duct cables were specifically designed to avoid rodents. So these are a rodent proof cables and they have a capacity for the blowing around 1500 newtons of tensile strength. So this size starts at 12 fiber up to 288 fiber which you manufacture and offer in the industry. Then are the direct buried cables. These cables do not have any ducts. These are directly the uh, ground is digged and the cable is laid. So these have a very high protection of a specialty steel armor to protect the cable from the any additional digging after the cable is laid. So these are very high strength cables and these are also offered from 12F up to 288F and these are mostly used in the telecommunication sector. And these are the armored cables. We have a different range of armored cables from one fiber up to 12 fiber with a steel tape strength. These are used also in armored and also some, some places in the uh, networking places. We also offer multi-tube specialty armored cables ranges from 6 fiber up to 144 fiber. Aerial cables. Aerial cables are the quite common cables which people lay across the cities where the duct permissions are not available cable is laid aerially 
So there are different multi-tube and unitube cables which are offered in a single and double sheath ranges. And this comes in uh, unitube cables which you would be already using are ranging from 4 fiber up to 12 fiber, 24 fiber we are using. And there are specialty cables which range up to 144 fiber cables also which are used in the aerial design. In aerial we have another two designs which are having a specialty steel strength member which is called the figure 8 cables. These have a very high tensile strength up to 4000 newtons and these are laid above 100 me 50 meter span length. But the disadvantage of this kind of cables is the strength is very high and the flexibility is very low. Next. That is where we got up with a new design which is called the ADSS cable, which is called all dielectric specialty cables. These are self-supporting cables and can range up to 500 meter span without any pole in between. Usually all our aerial cables currently are being used with a span length of 30 meters. Some places people are using that up to 50 meters. But we are offering cables which range up to 80 meters, 100 meters, 200 meters. Like that we can offer cables up to 500 meters where you don't need to add any special stray wire not required. Directly you can lay the cable and the cable will not come down. The strength will remain, the fiber will not be pulled back and still the cable will lay there for a very long time. And the last one is the FTTH cables. Currently everyone is using FTTH. Most of the migrations are happening to FTTH. So these cables are used in the last mile near the houses. So there are two different designs in the FTTH cables. The first one is the very age old cable which is called a flat drop cable. This cable is completely flat and highly flexible. You can fold the cable anyways and inside the house you can keep a loop. There will be no problem in the attenuation or any losses in these cables. But these cables are very very delicate and handling is an issue many times with the uh, splicers. So we got up with a new design which is a round drop cable in the FTTH. So this has different strength elements. We use uh, two FRPs in this for strength and we also use yarn to give additional strength so your losses are maintained even without any supporting wear in the last mile. So product we are offering for the internet segment and the CATV segment are we are offering the flat cable for one fiber and two fiber which you can use in the last mile. Earlier everyone was using two fiber but currently one fiber is also picking up. So we are offering both designs. Then the regular cables currently you are using are unitube optical fiber cables. You are buying two fiber optical fiber, four fiber cables, six fiber cable, 12 fiber cables. They are with various diameters currently at 6 mm and 5.8 mm. This has a different strength members of FRP and GFR to increase the strength we currently market is offering rip cord also. And we have unitube armored cables uh, specially used for the camp and networkings. And we have the ADSS cables. Recently people started understanding the usage of ADSS cables and people are using up to 80 meter and 100 meter spans. ADSS are very specialty cables and you don't need any additional stray wire support and directly pole to pole you can use with a distance of 80 to 100 meters. Then even 24 and 48, we offer unarmored and ADSS cables also because 24 and 48 people are very less using in the armored segment because armored cables are used in the ducts. So, but we are offering for this segment specially unarmored with rodent protection and ADSS optical cables up to 100 meter spans. We are available in stall AS3. Please come to us for any kind of queries and look at our product range. Thank you very much for giving us the opportunity today.